So you're going to stand out. Al fin del día, la percepción más alta del negocio. So now, so what starts to happen is, guess what? You know, your uh, your cell phone becomes deduction, right? Like that, huh? Very good. Ahora tu celular se convierte en una deducción. You know, you're in. You look cool in like grande. Y ahora la percepción ante tus clientes es que eres cool, eres grande. Wow. Right? So now you're the movie star or the realtor to brick all, they don't know. To brick all the beach, to Royal Isles, I don't know. Entonces, dependiendo del área del cual estés trabajando, resaltas en esa área. Muy diferente cuando, ustedes como que lo saben muy bien, uno escucha, wow, no contesta a él, sino que el asistente, ¿no? Muy diferente. Now, the next one is, guess what, is email. Próximo, vamos a hablar de tu correo electrónico. I'll guarantee you how many people over here did they say? How many people? How many, like 20 people? Where, here? Yeah. 30, 30, 30, 30. 30. All right, let's say 34. I'll guarantee you if I saw your business card, 30 of them are going to have Gmail, AOL, or Hotmail, correct? Yeah. Gmail, Hotmail, right? Yahoo. Okay. And, like I said, you want the world to say you're the top agent. De nuevo. Quieres que la gente diga que tú eres una gente top. Can you translate in Spanish? So, so guess what else starts to happen? Now we do have that. Baila, baila. That's okay, right, baila. baila. Okay. So now, guess what? It's the same concept. You want to stand out. Right. You know, everybody, nobody has it. And by the way, there's also little tricks to go with that, which is pretty much, oh, there's it. Oh, I missed the one on something else here. It's okay. Oops. Yeah, these are my slides that I was talking. Um, so when you open up, obviously you guys are PAs. Um, so hopefully you don't have a long name because when you have a business, I mean, I talk about this on a business, and you open up a corporation, you know, you don't want to have the real realtor best deal dot com. Now listen, I'm an old guy, okay? And if you tell me to put that on your phone, since most people, this time you're laughing, right? Okay, right? I'm an old guy. If you tell me to do that, okay? It ain't happening, sorry. And by the way, it ain't, well, obviously you can't do it because nobody's ever going to give you an email. But if you really needed that, that's where the QR code or the newest thing, I like I was teaching before, if you want to be successful, all the top dogs, you know, and I travel on the circuit a lot, everybody has a text app, which I just taught you. Right. Um, it's the simplest, easy way to get leads, especially if you're talking to a little group. Because here, nobody's going to go, you know, nobody's going to go to, you know, Miami Elite Realty and, okay, well, if you go to my website, Miami Elite, no, you're never going to get there. So that's why we started to use text often. Entonces, hasta es chévere, pero les explico rapidamente, ¿ok? Yo les voy a hablar en el futuro de una tarjeta digital, ¿ok? No es el momento, pero ya que se adelantó, el sistema que él tiene está diseñado para que el cliente reciba de ti algo, ¿cierto? sea un video, hola, yo me llamo Mariela, hola, yo me llamo José, eh, yo trabajo en este sector. Entonces reciben de ti una información, de nuevo, la percepción que le hace al cliente en este momento es de que, wow, es diferente él, digamos, a esta persona, que lo veo más preparado y la gente como que va a, querer, va a tener la tendencia de trabajar con, querer trabajar contigo. Te ven como un experto, ahí está. Okay, so now, here's what else starts to happen. When you start doing all these little tricks, guess what? Your house becomes a deduction. Your email, I mean, your house becomes a deduction. Comcast, AT&T, whatever you're doing, it's going to become a deduction. Like we said earlier, if you want to pay less to pack out less to deal, say and say, see? See. <laughs> well, right. These are all the things that in my classes um, that we teach. In fact, this is my newest book out, um, Increase Cash Flow by Drinking Coffee. Um, Y'all are laughing, but Milton knows. Anybody follow me on Facebook? Milton, what time is usually my post out? Well, he's probably still sleeping. Yeah. About post out. Remember, when I post on Facebook, about 6.30 in the morning. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yes. Yes. Absolutely. Coffee. I mean, she, 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 she said it's so. better than whiskey. Oh, 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 it doesn't matter. The point of the clave is a reduction of impuestos, digamos, 
fue el, el internet probablemente el 25% eh, de tu gasto de vivienda lo puedes deducir de tus impuestos. Depending on how big the, the thing is, um, the apartment, how much space. I mean, probably Milton with Sandra out of a out of a 1,200 foot apartment the way they are, they probably have half the apartment because their stuff is spread out everywhere. I mean, that, so that being said, esa es la utilidad como ejemplo, obviamente, 1,200 pies cuadrados. Okay, entonces mitad del apartamento, la casa dice que lo utilizamos como oficina, entonces dependiendo, ¿no? Eso es un ejemplo. Pero es de porcent. Sí, por supuesto. 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 Por Por supuesto. 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 Por For the rent, and the other example is 1,200. Can I put 600 for the rent on the lease? I mean, there's a, there's a little bit of a formula, but probably a little detail here. Oh, by the way, the reason why I'm teaching all these tricks is because what is the lifetime value of one customer? See, you want to get people in the castle, and that's kind of what I was trying to teach you. Él te quiere enseñar eso, ya hemos tocado este punto, en valor reservado de cada cliente, ¿cierto? Entre más nos aparezcamos al terreno de batalla, eh, luciendo y siéndose profesional, okay, eh, ¿cuál es el valor de, de adquisición de ese cliente? No es que te compre una vez, sino que te puede comprar otra y otra vez, también otras and personas. Y yeah, yeah. cómo habla ese cliente de ti, wow, o esa persona es totalmente profesional, bom, bom, bom. Te, te, te lanzan los clientes totalmente preparados. Okay. Um, because guess what? That one client. Especially in the world of, of uh, real estate, realtors, you know, you get the guy and his girl, the wife, who lives in a little thousand apartment. Next thing you know, they have three kids, they can't live there. So if you start giving them value, okay, you start, another thing that I coach, and I've been doing it forever, if you're one of my, you know, tax clients, you know, I'm on Facebook, I'm on everywhere giving value. Remember I said earlier, giving the keys. Because they might not, sorry. Yeah, habla del dar valor, ok, y esto es una estrategia buena, ¿no? Eh, para los que pueden deshacerse de las creencias limitantes de que por qué yo voy a hacer un video en Facebook. Ejemplo, él está dando el ejemplo de la persona, la familia que de repente tienen tres hijos, viven en un espacio reducido, y digamos que ese día el llamado es, hey, tienes una familia grande, el espacio no te da, boom, puede ser un título bien nifty, pero en fin, habla del estar presente en muchas de las redes o eventos o lo que sea, para adquisición de clientes. Okay. Um, I'll give him some more. I'll give him a couple more ninja tricks and then we'll have questions, right? Sure. Got, got five minutes. See, here's another ninja trick that I'll guarantee you no realtor in the United States ever knows. Aquí hay otro truquito ninja que ninguna gente viene raíces en los Estados Unidos lo están haciendo. Okay, here's what I would put on the bottom of my cart. So anybody, everybody take out their paper, pencil, doesn't matter. Saquen su lápiz y papel, por favor. No importa. Okay, so you want to put what I call, um, you want to have a gateway page. Okay. I don't want to put on the bottom of anybody's car, I don't want to put um, whatever realtor or whatever your thing is. You want to have a gateway page. Okay, explain the gateway okay, page. Okay, I'm going to get the gateway. 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 Gateway, tell me. Uh, it's the one that goes 360. I mean, you're at 360? No. Right, sort of like a virtual card? No, kind of. Here, I'll explain okay. it and it's easier. El, se, se refiere, tu tarjeta de negocio, en la parte de abajo, que debes de poner eso. Ya te lo explicamos. Okay. So, here's what, as a realtor, here's how I would make a gateway page. Okay. I know when I was a realtor and I'm helping people, right, you get a little website, remember, on the MLX, one for selling, Right, your, your listings and one for other listings, correct? Well, on a gateway page, so if you go to albertc360.biz, I mean, I have all my social media. But what I tell realtors is, you know, you put your calendry link, and then on one link you put, you know, your listings, another, hey, if you want to search a house in Doral, so you have a link. So if I meet you, keep going or I'm going to stop. No, no, keep going. I'll so if I meet you on the street, 
And I don't know whether I want to be a listing, you know, I don't know whether I want to buy from a house from you or I want to sell a house. And you're not sure. So instead of saying, whoa, let me let you send you my MLX, what's your name? Cody Ammo? Media Ella. Media Ella, um, whatever, you know. Media Ella. Because I know if you all are part of the MLX, they give you that long code, correct? Well, nobody's ever going to read that. It goes the same thing. Yeah, right. Yeah, right, right. right. And guys, and guess what? Right. This little trick, how much do you think it costs to do, guys? Zero, zero, not a zero. And you're going to get so much out of it. Right. Question Can you send them an example? Sure. Albert C. 360.biz is mine. Obviously, okay. I'm not. Write it down on the board, please. Uh, Jacob, where's Jacob? Right here. Albert 360. Albert, uh, here, I can spell this. Albert. A L B E R T C 3305.biz. Albert C. 360.biz. Albert C360.biz. Sandra, quita el punto com. Yo hago eso. Soy yo. 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 Soy y
right? What does all that really mean at the end? And me as a realtor, yo como la gente una raíz es, ¿cuál realmente me conviene? Which one really, you know, okay, I can answer that in two sentences. All right, go for it. Very quickly. Frex says you must, first of all, you can't be an LLC as a, bro, as a salesperson. Okay, entonces pongamos eso. Let's demystify this. Para los que han pensado, hey, why would you do an LLC? ¿Por qué? Porque eso te enseñaron. Okay. Oh, okay. Es que, hey, ¿por qué no abres un LLC? Y este acaba de decir, pero primordialmente no puedes ser un LLC. Tell them why again. Because Freck says, they know who Freck is, the big dogs in Orlando say, no, 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 for whatever reason. Who's Freck? They all know. It's the Board of Realty. Okay. The big ticket. Board of Real Estate. Okay. From Miami, the Board of Realty. So here's what I tell my realtor <laughs> clients. Uh, so what we do is we open up a PA because in reality a PA is a corporation. In reality, a PA is a corporation. Yes, no, no, I'm going to get there in a minute. Hold okay. on. Um, so what's going to happen is after we open it up, because if you leave it as a corporation, Tallahassee wants to steal your money twice, and that's not in my okay. it's not in my world. Oh. Si lo dejas como una corporación en el estado de Tallahassee o Tallahassee, quieren eh, llevarse tu... I tell my people, I mean, I've only been doing it for 30 no labor angles. Okay, that's all. So what I would tell you is we open up the company, we get you all the ID, and then you send in the one form to the IRS, so you become a self-ass company. Self? Self-ass, 11. Self S, like an S4? Yes. Ok, entonces, abres tu, tu corporación y mandas, ¿es that the 2662 or 28? No, that's the 1120X. Ok, entonces, el objetivo es de mandar este formulario para que entonces seas considerado un S4. S4? Yeah, yeah. You just gotta send in one small business. Yes. Yes. Okay. You just got to send in one paper, the 2553, up to the IRS. Okay. And what happens is now you don't need, you only need, you could be the partner of one. Okay. And Tallahassee is not going to make you send in some forms that's going to cost you $200 a year. And if you forget to send it, um, they're going to crucify you. <laughs> or you're like, okay. by the way, so I can deal with the IRS, right. but Tallahassee, your partner revenue are mucho dinero. No, 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 So quick rapid fire question, yes, just rapid fire. Es 200 lo que cuesta para abrir la corporación. Right, so how much is it to open up a corporation? With me, we do everything to be a PA. It's, it, normally it's 350. If you say you come from here, I'm only going to charge you $300. Three. Okay. 300. And we open it, you get to hear my wonderful explanations, okay. and you get to be me amigas. Okay. Okay. ¿Cuántos posiblemente captaron eso? Okay. ¿Cuántos aquí ven una ventaja en abrir un PA? Okay, great. Now, I'm going to work for you. Okay. If we get you 10 people from here to open up a PA, can you do a better pricing for them? Wait, at least. No, dude. Here, here's what you get you out of me. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait Here's what I'm going to tell you. I'll make a deal with you. I'll, you can go on. I'll make it simple and easy. If you Google me, go on YouTube, you can do it for 70. You can do it yourself. D-Y-A. Yes. 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 But, yes. but, when you get into trouble, I'm still going to make my profit. So I'll guarantee you, I make more money. You get a lot from me to tell you. For everybody calling me for the screw-ups. So, you got to get All right. So, it doesn't mean look at this. Okay. D-Y-A, it is you do it yourself. Right. Or D-Y-S, do it yourself. Okay. And this is, ustedes pueden ir a un video que yo tengo. And now, Actually, do me a favor, because you're showing these folks back there your butt, so oh, they sorry. can see your face. Uh, yeah. uh, back there. Uh, All right. Lo que él dice es lo siguiente. Que ustedes lo pueden hacer solitos. Pero digamos que ustedes lo hagan no como se debe. Él dice que parte de su ingreso es defendiendo a las personas, rehaciendo los errores que se hubieran ahorrado el dinero. ¿Qué haría yo, francamente? Okay. ¿Qué haría yo? Si es algo así. Be professional. Just in case the IRS comes knocking on my door, I want to say, here's my receipt. I went to a CPA. You talked to my accountant. Right. 
right? The liability goes to him. But, right. Now, Corey, here's what I just want to say, just because that's a question that came up. By the way, I want to see you help these people, but I also want to help them. If 10, 12 people show up at your door, you do it for 250 for 12 people. This is Guess what? Nothing to be here. You don't even have to come to my door. You could email us. By the way, we did this year 30% with clients all over the country. Don't you have to come in? You get email. 250, 12 people. It's not costing you anything. You're not going to continue to do business. These folks are really okay. I want Here, to be here's successful. Here's going to be the key. All right. I'll go 250, limited time offer. Like that? I'm a realtor and I invest. Your average deal, and I don't know what your cut is, it's got to be at least 1500 correct? Maybe more. But here's what I'm going to tell you. The 275 do 250 you paid me, you can have gone out and did, or at least prospect, three people and made 5K. So, hmm, 250 or 5K? Milton, you're the business guy. Let's see here. What's more important? Prospect three people for 5K commission or 250 to me? That's why I will answer, I will answer that. I'll, I'll prospect. Thank you. Yeah, so in essence, what are you trying to say? That don't waste your, listen, whether you're doing your tax return, okay, two things I will leave it at this, and then I got one last thing to say. Two things I will tell you, um, spend the time on your business, not in your business, Meaning that don't go use TurboTax because at the time you took TurboTax, you probably could have closed at least one deal. Get professionals that can teach you how to take your stuff to the next level. You know, um, the story I'm telling you, when I had a heart, if I have a heart attack, I'm not going to get an electric cord and go, right. no, I'm going to go to a cardiologist. It's the same thing. Yo sé que yo puedo hacer mis impuestos solo, pero yo prefiero utilizar mi tiempo para las cosas en las cuales yo soy bueno. ¿Okay? Yo prefiero pagar esos 200, 250 al año, lo que sea, y dejar que un profesional lo haga. Por eso es que han sido, that's why Corey's been my accountant for the last six years. Could I do it? Yes. Could I pay my nephew, 25 year old Jacob, right here? He's a lean of the book. I got him. Hey, Jacob. Good prospecting. Can you explain the 250 versus 5,000 example? Okay. I, I can translate that. You can translate yeah. that? Okay, Miguel lo hace. Go ahead, Miguel. Okay. Eh, lo que él está diciendo es que él lo hace muy rápido y en ese tiempo que tú harías por tu cuenta, preferirías hacer la prospección y estar ganando una comisión de 5,000, por ejemplo. Pues bien, él, él lo hace muy rápido y lo hace bien. Okay. ¿En cuánto tiempo? En un tiempo corto. A ti te llevaría cuatro o cinco veces más ese tiempo y tal vez con errores. Pero como tú eres sí. un experto en real estate, right. ese tiempo lo vas a invertir en real estate por una comisión más grande right. en, vez de, en vez de los right. 250 que... Very good. Thank you, Miguel. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Miguel, Miguel, I got a, I got a. Right. Closing remarks, Corey. Closing because we need. Yeah. Um. Obviously, see, I talk a lot. 
Um, Let me ask you a question. I got, I got some awesome things. I can teach you both on the accounting and marketing side. So if you need help on any, I'm here. And my last remark is, let's give another round of applause for our amazing host, Unlimited Real Estate, for having me here. Milton for being the facilitator. Guys, I, I know you want to stand up because I know you're busy. I'm going to give you, this is like copy number eight because these are the ones we ordered. Here you go, and here's my book. I will autograph it, and I will show you some of my more ninja tricks. <laughs> <laughs> okay? Taxman. Okay, Taxman. My little marketing, by the way, this thing cost me $3 when I was in New York. I probably made about $4,000. $3 to $4,000. I don't know. Here's the book in a few minutes. Uh, final question. Let me ask you a question. Yes. When question. you have a corporation. Yes. Okay. Now let me ask you, do you taxes every four months? That that depends. If you're making the If you're making bucks, the money? Well, here's what I say. That's the question I get all the time. If you're like selling the mega mega sales and you're at the eighty, ninety thousand dollar range, and come back so they can see you now here, but <laughs> Sorry, I know you got a nice butt, but come yes, back if you yes, see everybody. Yes. So, so the answer to that is, if you don't want to pay one chunk at the end of the year, and it doesn't matter how much you're making, then you do quarterly. Um, if you don't mind writing the check at the end, um, I write checks at the end, because even though I get smacked a lot of money for paying, you know, thing, but I want my money in my pocket, and I'm already making, selling that next deal to more than pay, for whatever money I got to give them and, and market. All right? Other questions, comments? Yes. There's a question from, what's your name? Elizabeth. From, stand up. Elizabeth. Yes. Elizabeth. Uh, Elizabeth, okay. Elizabeth, let's go ahead. There's a question, okay? That's a real good question. Una pregunta que nos aplica a todos. Los 250 incluye no solamente sus honorarios, pero también los gastos del fee. Your 250, does it cover it all? Like, you know, the fee? Your, uh, your fee, everything. Okay. Here's what you get on the 250 again, April 28th. Yeah. By April 28th, <laughs> that's 150 And they pay that to the state. They have the right. They pay that to the okay. state. Okay. Entonces, la apertura por 250, okay, incluye todo, y anualmente pagan 150. Yo sé que eso tiene un nombre. Yo lo pago personalmente. What's the name of that thing that I pay for my corporation to uh, state of Florida? The yearly review? Review? Some review. Review. No. Annual, no. annual report. Annual report. That's my girl right there. Annual report. Thank you. That's my girl. Thank you. Right. But I pay that. ¿Sabes por qué lo pago yo? Porque si alguien va, yo soy famoso. Si tú quieres hacer negocio conmigo, you want to do business with me, I'll check you out on Sunday. Yes. If your corporation says expired, yes. I'm not doing business with you. Porque si no tienes el empeño de mantener tus papeles actualizados, ¿cómo estás corriendo el resto de tu vida? Si tú quieres hacer negocio conmigo, no way, Jose. Everybody I check out. Y no crean que hay clientes así que también van y los chequean ustedes en Zumbis. Dicen, wow, qué payasa esta mujer, qué payaso este hombre. Okay, tiene una corporación vencida porque ahí dice todo. Sí. Hace cinco años. Right? ¿Qué payasos son? Okay. Dennis, do you have coaching for this? Um, do you have people in your office for tax stuff that do Spanish? For taxes, see. Everybody, Didi, I'm the only gringo in the office. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the only gringo. Okay. Great. Okay. okay. Voy, a, voy a proponerles algo. Okay. Yo sé que tienes una pregunta de más. En uno de nuestros rapid fires, ¿qué tal si permitimos que Corey tome 45 minutos con un tema bien enfocado? Okay. We have something called every other week rapid fire sessions. Okay. About 45 minutes to an hour. And I'm saying that why not you take a certain topic, one, go deep on it, whether it be marketing or taxes, that way they can get a great follow-up with See, sí, no problem. Okay. Okay. No problem. Got it. Okay, Fernanda, pregunta. Two questions. Yo ya tengo mi PAI formado. ¿Cuánto cuesta? La declaración de impuesto depende de las actividades, del movimiento. She already has her PA established. How much is my uh, my tax give return? You, to give you my, my um, tax return. Like, I'll guarantee I'll find something. 
Do you have a real job or is this your real job, the PA? No, this is my job. Okay, we'll go over it. Um, an average, give her a number, an average. Probably about uh, 75 to 100. Okay. To do corporate taxes? No, to do corporate taxes, you gotta, we gotta talk about question. it. How much to do a corporate tax return or to go over a return? To do a corporate return this year,